the night before Mr. Hoppy's funeral, uh, and I was, I was just at home. We were as a family. We were just watching TV, and I had my iPad out, and I was just kind of drawing, just you know, nothing, not doing anything like real serious or whatever. And I started, you know, I was like really kind of emotional about the funeral coming up and everything we were going through, and. I thought of the Boston Strong logo that they came up with right after the bombing of the of the Boston Marathon, mm -hmm. and how it was. Um, theirs is the the B for the Boston Red Sox, or they had the B for the um, Boston Bruins, and then they had Strong in the circle, just like that. And so, essentially, this thing is is I don't want to say a rip off. It's kind of like a tribute to like I saw how that cohesive that logo was and so I just took our Hamilton Hawkeye and put that on on you know in the same type of type of style yeah. just took that and I put it on Facebook on my you know as my profile picture put it on and uploaded it within like an hour and a half I was looking at Facebook and like all these people were sharing it and were already changing it to their their logo and um, and I was just like, wow, this thing's really catching on. Ash would like talk about all the students all the time. He was really proud of the potential that each everyone held individually. And that was really important to him. And he was always um, excited about every student. I think for me personally, the support really helped me because Josh was 13 years older than me and people from back home, like my closest friends, people that I hung around with, didn't know Josh. Mm -hmm. So being able to connect with people my own age from Hamilton that knew Josh, that could tell me stories about him, really helped me personally get through that hard time. Um, knowing that, you know, a community of kids that I could really relate to on, you know, different social media sites and mm -hmm. like coming to games and all that sort of thing really helped me, um, you know, kind of see a silver lining. Like this was physical, this was, you know, they were really there for me. I really felt like, you know, we could get through this together. I wasn't alone in this. It was cool to have his students, past and former, that were in AP Gov, you know, like I felt like they were him helping me through. Like they sent me a card before the, um, the AP Gov test. But like, obviously a lot of that time was a blur. Mm -hmm. And all I remember from it was so many people being there for us. Like I knew that I had so many people behind me like lifting me up, like putting one foot in front of the other. And I know the rest of my family felt that too. Mm -hmm. You know, like it, it was a hard, it was hard to get up in the morning. It was hard, you know, stand at a visitation for X amount of hours, but you know, like people keep coming through, keep wanting to like, you know, pay their respects to Josh made it a little easier to like stand there. I would contend that it hasn't evolved in 20 years. There's kids in the hallway that have their head down. What are you doing to help them? Because I don't see them all. I can't help them all. That's the starfish thing, right? You can help one. If we all help one, then we can fix a lot of things that are wrong in the world. Unfortunately, it takes a tragedy to have us stop the drama and like think about what really matters. So it would be great if it didn't take tragedy. But realistically, it's either success or tragedy that usually unites people. So Mr. Reeves, I think, since he's come here, he's made that initiative to try to make school have that feel. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we do is the, the assemblies. That's for you. That's that, you know, We feel like we're going to get more out of that day by taking a time out and doing some things than we would another math lesson or another yeah. common worksheet. You know what I'm saying? So you ask me, what does H-Town Strong mean to me? Yeah. I look at it this way. H-Town Strong is the underlying definition of a community that binds together in the face of its adversity. We all feel pain from our grief and loss, and we can handle that pain in one of two ways. We can let it consume and define us, or we can let it insanely motivate us to go out into the world and to live out our own legacies. And the best part is, that choice is completely up to us. And I think that's where H-Town Strong and the community of Hamilton comes into play. H-Town Strong is us choosing not to let our pain define us, but instead drive us. Drive us to live out the legacies of those we've lost and create our own. Drive us to show the world the power that this mindset can have and the strength of what having a whole community supporting you can fuel. It, it motivates me every day. 
it means everything to me and we all will forever be H-Town Strong.